what up YouTube, I'm back, so what a start of an episode man, it was a crazy start, the villains against each other was just amazing, so let's get right to it man. We were introduced to the main villain of this season, of this arc in my opinion, and his name is Overhaul, obviously we've been hearing about him since the end of the third season, in the last episode of season 3 we saw him being kind of introduced to us and he was meeting uh, the league of villains the same kind of scene that we saw in this week's episode and like i said his name is overhaul but he's a pretty important figure in the villain society you know he's part of the yakuza's and uh in the yakuza's there's different group and his group is called shy asaikai and he's the leader of that group you know so that's kind of interesting He's more part of org organized crime than, you know, villain crime that we see in the society in the, the Boku no Hero uh, series. So that was kind of interesting to see a different kind of villain, you know, so that was pretty cool. At first, I really thought that Overhaul was trying to meet the League of Villains because he wanted to join them, but he actually wants the League of Villains to join his group, the Shai Sakai part of the Yakuza, which was pretty interesting because first of all, Overhaul is a way different kind of person, personality than uh, Tomura right now from the things that we've seen so far. Uh, he seems way more organized, he seems to have a specific goal. We know that Tomura wants basically to uh, you know, defeat the heroes, he wants to show how the society isn't as perfect as it seems, but uh, overall really seemed focused, you know, and he's a different kind of leader, so that was pretty interesting that he wants the League of Villains to be under him and not him joined, joining them. I ain't gonna lie, I didn't see all of this coming in this week's episode, I didn't think that the villains, some of the villains would fight each other, but that's actually what happened. We saw uh, one of the uh, villains from the League of Villains attacked Overhaul, but it didn't end well for him, you know, we saw at, uh, at first hand what uh, Overhaul's quirk really is, we don't know the name of his quirk, but his quirk is dangerous, man, it's one of the most dangerous quirk that we've seen so far in the Boku no Hero Academia, what he did is kind of scratch one of the villains, I don't remember his name, so my bad about that, he, he don't matter anymore anyway, because he's dead, but Overhaul just scratched him, and it's like he it infected him with a uh, illness, uh, and that made him explode, you know, so that was really, really interesting. His quirk is really dangerous, man. It's going to be interesting to see how he uses his quirk like that. And it seems like uh, the reason why he has gloves is because of his quirk. Maybe he can't even really control it. If he just touched someone, maybe uh, he gives uh, them uh, illness and that's kill that kills them. I don't know, but that's going to be really, really interesting, man. I can't wait to see more about Overhaul's quirk. In a way, Overhaul's quirk is kind of similar to uh, Tomura in a way because both of them, if they use their quirk, just by touching the enemy, they can kill them. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, we all know that Tomura's quirk is decay, so if he touches someone, the, he, he they're basically dead, you know. And the same thing is for uh, Overhaul, you know. So I, I really thought that that was pretty cool that the two main villains of the story right now have quite similar uh, quirks, even though they work differently, it seems. But yeah, the scenes between the villains were really, really intense. It was the most intense part of the episode and I really liked it. Hopefully, we'll see more of that in this season. But uh, one last thing that I want to talk about about the villains is uh, Overhaul's uh, knowledge about All for One. Uh, it seems like he, know, he knew All for One as an urban legend. But, uh, you know, the Yakuza's were always talking about him like he was you know, uh, the strongest, you know, he was a, a leader and everything like that, so for Overhaul's generation, he was more of a legend than anything else, but uh, because they saw him on TV being defeated by All Might, uh, he wants to become the leader of the villains, you know, uh, obviously, Tomura wants to become the leader also, because he's basically 
uh, Alpha One's disciple, and there's kind of a conflict between Overhaul and Tumura because of the leader thing, you know. So I thought that that was also interesting but yeah man it was an intense part of the episode the villains against each other i didn't see this coming in the first episode you know so hopefully we'll see more of that because it was awesome anyway ever since last season we've been talking about work studies where the students go to a hero firm to learn and get stronger that's how mirio got stronger he went to a hero firm the hero firm of sir knight i the ex sidekick of uh, all might and that's where he got stronger and that's where uh, Deku will get stronger you know so that's gonna be interesting but for a reason all might didn't want to introduce uh, uh, Midoriya to Sir Night Eye he gave some of the reasons but the last reason I thought that was the most important one it was something about all might uh, kind of losing his form you know losing his power so I guess Sir Night Eye knows what all my quirk is was you know so that was really interesting to me but uh the one that introduced midoriya to sir night i basically was mirio you know so that was pretty cool you know the strongest guy in ua introduced uh, uh midoriya to sir night i even though they didn't really talk yet to each other it was pretty cool to see uh sir night i you know he has a sidekick too and you know, uh, Sir Night Eye, uh, uh, Mirio said that he 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 likes he likes to laugh. He he's a humorous guy, you know. So uh, Midoriya has to make him uh, smile or laugh so that he can learn from him, you know. So that was pretty interesting. I think I've heard about something like that in another anime. I don't remember which one, but yeah, man, it's gonna be interesting to see because, like Midoriya said, he's not that that kind of guy he's not a funny guy but what he tried to do impersonate uh all might was wasn't working well you know because it seems like sir night eye is really really uh he really likes all might he really has a lot of how can i say that a lot of uh, love for all might you know so he it didn't make him laugh you know so that was really funny but yeah man it seems like uh, the work studies are gonna start soon i really can't wait to see how strong midoriya will get in this arc because he'll have to get stronger man because overhaul is gonna be a problem i think that one of the only ones that can probably beat overhaul right now in ua is mirio because he can just go through uh, overhaul so overhaul can't really touch mirio so that's gonna be interesting to see hopefully there'll be a battle between mirio and overhaul but also midoriya versus overhaul it seems like there's gonna be a battle between them because of what we saw in the opening but yeah man, it's gonna be interest an interesting season it was pretty good it's pretty good so far so i can't wait for what's coming next I may have forgotten to talk about something so let me know in the comments down below but overall man it was a pretty good episode man it was pretty intense especially at the beginning of the episode so let me know what you thought about this week's episode in the comments down below and let me know what you think is gonna happen next. Uh, I do Boku no Hero Academia uh, Season 4 reviews every Saturday so subscribe for that but I also do other anime related things like Black Clover reviews on Tuesdays, Dr. Stone reviews on Fridays and then I do like I said Boku no Hero Academia uh, reviews on Saturdays. After that I do Sword Art Online, Alicization, War of Underworld and later that day um, One Piece reviews and then on Sundays I do both to Naruto Next Generation reviews for this new arc that is celebrating the 20th anniversary of the Naruto series so I'll do that till March so there's three animes on Saturdays, one on Sundays, one on uh, Tuesdays and one on Fridays so stay tuned for all of that man it's been a gr great great week so far for me and I i'm gonna continue reviewing these animes man it's been awesome but yeah this overhaul versus tomra rivalry can be really really good man so i can't wait i know that sir night eye is uh kind of investigating about overall and the league of villains so that's something that i forgot to talk about so uh we'll definitely see uh something 
between uh, Midoriya and the League of Villains soon, I guess, because Sir Night Eye is working on this, is working against the League of Villains and is invent investigating them. So uh, we'll have something pretty soon, I guess. But yeah, man, uh, follow me at Anime Specialist on Twitter and Instagram and like, comment, subscribe. It would help my channel a lot, man. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Anime Specialist out. Peace.